Good morning, YouTube. This is Chuck Gentles. I want to welcome you to my channel. Well, it's been pouring all night, and it's, uh, let's see, it's 10.30 in the morning, and it's 42 degrees and about a 30 mile an hour wind. So guess where we're at? We're back in the shop again. But I don't care now because we're back in with my new favorite toy, the Stripmeister wire stripper. And uh, this went on their site today. They've got a great site. They've got a lot of videos on there that show you how to do certain things with this tool uh, to make it more efficient and faster for you. And that's what I've been doing today. And uh, give me a second and I'll show you what I've done today. So I've put what's left of this uh, number 12 stranded THHN on a little reel stand that I've had uh, when I was doing electrical work. And uh, it works good for pulling it off. It doesn't hang up or nothing. But uh, when I went on their side, I learned a couple new tricks on how to, how to set up your wire. To, I went from a number 6, now I'm running this number 12. The 6 I was running here, now the, the 12 I'm running in a smaller hole. And they show you how to set this up where it works really well and uh, do the little test things like I did before in another video but this is what I've done this morning and I believe this is around 180 feet of insulation that I've stripped and it has to be 35 minutes I don't know what that turns out to be in pounds but it's a lot but it's only number 12 so it takes a lot to make a pound so <laughs> So anyhow, let me show you how this thing works now, and I'll be right back. So this is the same setup I had before, and I didn't screw my Stripmeister to the bench. I've got it clamped with two clamps here on a 2x4, piece of 2x4, and it's clamped to the bench here, so it doesn't go anywhere. And this is my lucky 2x4 because it already had a notch here where I can set my wire in so it's like at a 15 degree angle. Uh, got the drill and got it set up, uh, so this is how good it works now. Okay, so that's, I'm guessing that's about 10 feet. I take it over off about 10 or 12 feet at a time. And then we go on this back side and cut it. Now what I was having trouble with before was trying to split this plastic jacket and the insulation because it's uh, it's so the wire's so small and it's so tight and they said well what you do is you take a pair of strippers and they use the uh, different stuff out of it, and you strip off a piece of the copper like that stick your fingernail in there and you, you do that so you see how long it's taken to get that, and we'll just peel this real quick. So now it's peeled, and uh, like I always do, I fold it now. Uh, I start folding it, and just do this with it. And before I was having trouble, I was getting poked in the hand because I had it set too tight, and what it was doing, it was breaking off little pieces and they stick in your hand. You know, it's like having a little needle stuck in you. But I always do this to make it fit in the bucket better and I can get more in a, in a small bucket. And those small buckets have less of a tear weight at the yard than a big bucket. So there that is. That's all quick. I don't know how, I didn't time that. I don't know how long it took. But it wasn't very long. And uh, well, this is for giggles. I'm going to go weigh it. Be right back. Alright guys, we're over here at my favorite thing, the scale. It's a cloudy day, so I'm not getting any glare on the, on the readout. And as you can see, we're set here at pounds and ounces. And let's just see what this weighs. I'm sure it doesn't a pound. Two pounds, eight ounces. And that's what I've been averaging on every piece that I've cut. And if you look here, 
Uh, this is my other bucket now of I'm thinking this is number one bare bright. I see what the yard will give me. At the worst it's just number one. But I think it's going to go as bare bright. Because it's bright. So it's working good and about every oh, 10 or 12 feet that I pull off I end up getting uh, right at between 2 and 2.8 ounces every time. So it doesn't take you long to get over a pound or two pounds. And that's good with this small wire. Alright, be back. Alright guys, I'm going to do it from a little bit different angle here. You saw how that came off the reel and all that before, but this is how we do it. Well, you saw it before, all the longer that took to do that. I'm guessing that was about a minute. And this was just a few seconds here, five seconds, ten seconds or so. But now I'm jabbering on here, so it's <laughs> it may take a little longer. So let me uh, back you out here a little bit. We'll cut that and strip it. You can time it anywhere you want if you want to, I don't care. But this is a, a lifesaver here. Like I said, they didn't use this stripper. And this is a harder stripper than what they were using. It's, it's all manual labor and theirs was spring-loaded on the video. And they've got several videos there, even on the, uh, the larger machines with the motor made, made on them. And their variable speed and whatnot. But Wow, as fast as I can do this, I guess uh, I'm not going to be too interested in another one. But that's all the longer that took to do. Like I say, I take more time doing this actually than doing the actual stripping. Because it takes a while to fold all this up like this. But it's taking less time now because I'm not getting poked with little, little wickers as I go now. It's just coming off there nice and clean. And yeah, do I get poked every once in a while? Yeah, you'll, you'll break one just twisting it like this sometimes. But there's another one. All right. That's two in about two minutes. I'll go see what this one weighs and be right back. All right, guys, there's the scale. I decided to bring you along just to see. And that one's 2.8 also. So I'm averaging about 2.8, 2.6 most of the time. So that makes a pound really fast. Alright, be back. Alright guys, so this is what I got uh, some yesterday and today. And this is a two gallon bucket. And as you can see, it's, it's uh, that far from the top. Right there. <laughs> okay, let's see what it weighs. This for grins. Okay, let's get Mr. Bucket up here. There's a couple pieces of, looks like very bright to me, but it's not wire. Oops, I didn't get the scale on. Hang on. Not going too fast. But that was in there yesterday, so it doesn't matter. Okay, pounds, ounces. And it looks like nine pounds, one ounce. So there's 10 ounces for tear weight on the bucket. I actually write that on my bucket now to see if that helps. So it's 10 ounces of tear. 9 pounds, uh, let's see, that's going to leave 6, 7, about 8.5 pounds of copper. Really happy with that. So if you all like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Give it a good, good comment. Come back again. Thank you so much for watching. Like the words say, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share with a friend. Give a great comment. Subscribe. Hit the bell to get future notifications. And definitely come back.